found a magical booth. It's a booth of magic. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Niles, Michigan. Michigan. Unfortunately, we're still very, very far away from Mackinac, Michigan, but we're in Niles, Michigan at Picker's Paradise Antique Mall. Not been here before. Now Mark and I lived up in South Bend for so about two, three years when we got married. And uh, so we've not been up here for a very long time, but when we lived up here, I didn't care about going into antique malls necessarily. So, but today that's what we're doing. We're gonna go Picker's Paradise Antique Mall, Niles, Michigan. Let's go. So up here we have some Halloween and I'm looking at this little Rosbro cat. Now it is $24, but I really kind of like it. And then we've got the blow mold over here with the witch hat for 78 and these little cake decorations are 15 so I'm thinking that I might actually get the Ross Bro and those little pigs. Look at that little baby riding that fish. You see that baby in there riding that fish? Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at he's riding that fish. That is a little Ukago and then it's $34. But I'm looking at these, and I love this. I think I might get this little salt and pepper shaker set. I love the little vintage TV. And the salt and pepper shakers go up there. It's twelve dollars. It's just a great look. So I think I'm gonna get that. Oh, there's a night. Oh, that's Illinois. So there's a 1940s license plate. So Mark is always looking for Indiana license plates. Down here, this is open, so we can touch and feel the brooches and things. Oh, Miss I see. I can zoom in. Look at that little baby. It's from 1918. It says the next kisser comes along, gets biffed. And he's got that little axe. Let me have to look at that because that's pretty. Oh, looks like some little Aladdin bulbs. But this $12. Is, it's 12. This has great design on it. It's 24. I love that. There's a brown globe. I don't want a brown globe. This is the little cranberry, cranberry sauce. Life Boy soap. We've got some train postcards. Oh, look at the little doctor set. That is $48 for that. Oh, down here we have, let's see, are you Marwal? I can tell by the way, no, you're Lego. Or no, you're Holland Mold. Well. You're not even either one. You're a studio piece, but I see some Russell Wright here. Russell Wright. Um, creamer. It's eight fifty. There's three of them. Um, and then there's some Russell Wright plates here. Well, they're, these are the saucers. They're missing their cups. Oh, you know what, though? I wonder. They're Steubenville. I just thought, I wonder, because of the design, since there's three plates and three creamers, I wonder if that went like that. These are marked Russell Wright and those are marked Steubenville, but maybe not, but I don't know. And then over here, she will hold your handkerchiefs handkerchiefs but this is beautiful she's $39 it's it's a lid is this her bowl no <laughs> I was like I'm just I'm just putting together all the pieces but she's lovely $39 these are pretty too a transfer wear holy wear Ohio very pretty for fall. There's a little Bauer mid-century modern pottery. It's five dollars, but it has a boober. Pretty cracky crack right there. So we can't do that, but this set's lovely for $17.50. These are old too, but these are probably Austrian. Yeah, Austrian picture 22. But I tend the, I know some people would like those, but I tend to just buy what I like. That way if I have to keep it, 
then it's okay. That pipe is neat. Mm -hmm. There's a Monon route patch. A lot of train things. Aaron and, Aaron and Jeffrey would like to come up here probably. What is that bottle? Look, it has an arrow through it. That beer bottle? Yeah, it's got oh, like yeah. a wooden arrow through it. Okay, Mark says there's a couple things where. Oh, no. Oh, past the cases. All right, so we're going to get into these cases, see if we can get in. Mark found a couple things that he likes, and I did too. And, you know, I one thing that I do get messages sometimes, people say, oh, you missed this, this, this. You know, when you're when you're filming, you, you do miss a lot, and I, I find things when I'm editing later on. But um, I kind of just draw into what my eyes are drawn to, um, and that – it. That's just typically how I shop. Oh my goodness, she has been spray painted gold. Poor girl. Um, some wades. The other thing that I see that's kind of cool in this cabinet is this little deer redware set. And it's $18, but it's reindeer. If that's not firm, then I probably will get that. These are all little deer stacking teapots and it does have the lid. I found them in pieces before but that looks like it's all together and the cold paint still looks pretty good. Not, I decided not to get the redware because there was a repair on the like the whole handle been repaired and there's a chip on the mouth. So I know that it's a good price but I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna get it. There's a one-armed um Paul and oh look at her this Art Nouveau Heloise. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I've got some interesting things in here for sure. Mark said there's several things in this just, booth that he thinks that I might like. This booth looks like it's been sitting around a while. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got Big Jim down there. Big Jim, the Olympic champ. And then I like this little guy. He's $29. He's a puppet. Some Fenton. Kitty cat. Wool felt baby shoes for baby shoes those cardinal chalkware those are different i've not seen those before got some vaseline handles oh my look at that fella he's got a lot to say we've got some stretch glass that's beautiful how much is that stretch glass i can't tell it's just stretch glass 34 34 here's gollum do you still work press button. I can't find the button. We can't press your button, Gotham. Do you see it? There's the key to the house of David in Benton Harbor. You get the whole key. I like to look at these little advertising. Look at the little monkey. Be sure the monkey is on the package. This is for chains for your tires, I think, for $8. That's a cute little box. There's the monkey. He looks like he's doing something naughty to your tires, but he's putting the snow, ch the snow chains. He's being a helpful monkey. Oh, gosh, I'm surprised this is still here. We're in Notre Dame country. Although, since Mark is a Boilermaker, he agrees with that sentiment to beat Notre Dame. and stuff because there's a red fairy lamp but I, for 25 but it's flashed if you hold these up to the light you can see see how that paint's coming off oh, there's a whole bunch of paint coming off yeah here. so that's the best way to check beautiful pieces of Fenton the Hobnail 79 this is little daisy and buttons for 21 we've got some cut to clear more postcards oh my gosh look at the little Gilmer Oh, sometimes these drawers open up really fast, and that's a whole pane of glass there. But I wanted to check out these little Gilner cuties. They are $22.50 for the pair. Now, I, they could be, I think that they're Gilner, but they could be Treasure Craft. But yeah, 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 of course, of course, we're going to get you cuties. It's Monk here. Oh, she got glands. She's covering up one of her glands. But it's $18 for the naughty mug. I'm naughty. But she's modest too. She's covering up her glands. She's not being too saucy. 
Duran Duran. Oh, that coffee can is neat for 14. It's got a painted lid. Okie dokie. Well, I'm excited about the little pixies. Meow meow. This booth looks like a fun trip. So let's get started right here. We got Witch. I don't think that she is vintage, but she's still fun. She's $5. She got a little wart on her nose. What are these? I remember these. This is a Good Morning Happy Meal from 1990. And they're little combs that stick together of all the characters. It's $6. They're a little bellhop. These are fun. What does it say? Two orange juice glasses. They're $16. Great for great color for Halloween. Those are $42 for those. Oh my gosh, there's a snork. Look at this Lucite masterpiece. We don't have our light with us. It's $30 as is. But yeah, that's that's special. And then oh no, 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 no. You had to ruin the day, clowns. We're not going to focus down there on you, but here's a little wooden squirrel for a dollar. Look at that. I'm going to move this basket. There's a German Shepherd, but they're a little Frenchy. Oh my gosh. You're five dollars. I have to take you home. Okay, I'm going to put you right there. That's how Mark will be in about an hour if I don't hurry up. There's a Weeble. The Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. She's $5. 1973. I kind of want the Weeble. What's going on with you, Cabbage Patch? Look, there's Curly, who is in jail, apparently. I like the Weeble, girl. <gasps> Look at the owl. Can you see how much that owl is up there, Mark? That woodsy owl? Got the Grace Krispie Treat. And Oh, he's As so cute. Knicker... Knickerbocker. Oh. Oh. oh, he doesn't work. <gasps> oh my gosh. Mark found this blast from the past. So what is it? What do you do with it? You apparently clip this on the edge of your lawn chair and it's it's your ashtray. It's your ashtray. I guess it could be cup holder. It could be. Blast from the past. Look here. Oh. Baby beans. Baby beans. Are you are you the actual are you baby beans or are you an imposter? Yellow baby beans. Yeah, it's Mattel. How much art is she? Twelve dollars. I don't know. I just I don't know about yellow baby beans. I kinda like the just the the traditional blue and white baby beans. Sorry, baby beans. Look at these little guys. I think that these are new, <laughs> but little baby sitting in a pumpkin. There's a little pink fish and a little green swan and a little clear glass swan. There is a, um, this is Capitamonte. Peacock for tw 1995. Tw Tweet like a birdie for your milk. That's a whistle. You blow your air into that bird's butt, and then it's all gone. How much is this? Seventeen dollars. Mm. That's some fun little things to see, though. There's a Smurf bank. Blow mold Smurf bank. He's probably twenty-five. I'm a guess. Oh, he's fourteen. He's a Smurf bank. He doesn't have a stopper. He's 1982. I'm gonna get him. Look at these little guys. They're $14.95. Those are cute. Oh, these are really pretty. These are great for fall. $12. I'm gonna get those. I've never seen those. I guess they could be for spring too, but they're just very orange. There's pumpkins, but I think those are modern. These are made in Japan, and I can put re replacement stoppers in them. So we're going to get these two and put them next to Smurf. And then I saw this little bird whistle here. 
for $9.95 ceramic. It's a water whistle. Don't you remember the plastic ones? So you put water in him and he, and he blows. He makes little bird sounds. Look at him. Guess what? He's from Oh Canada. He's a little Canada dog. He's cute. He's $9. I like the way that he feels. And it says he's made in... I don't know. But, I don't know. He's cute. And then this is cute, too. This is $6. It's... It's, um... They are marked Japan. But it's got the little metal... They're very mid-century modern, so I think I'm going to get those. What is this guy doing? He's holding... What does it say? Oh, he's a thermometer. I want to show you. This this booth, someone really had their Scotty Dog collection. They There's quite a collection here of Scotty Dogs. Well, and there's some owls there, too. And then we've got some more little dogs over here I wanted to check out. And these look interesting. Two dogs and a two adult two pu so you get the you get the family for twenty two dollars. I thought for a minute they might be Christ, but I don't they were normally they were ten cents in the how much were they? Twenty two dollars. Mm. But yeah, this was definitely their favorite dog was a Scotty dog, because there are Scotty dogs everywhere. So you know I like these weird, obscure records and here we have music to strip by i like it it's two dollars bald bill hagen and his tr trocadarions it's in great shape we're gonna get that let's see what else is down here because i like those kinds of weird oh, all in the family are you serious <laughs> all in the family had an album look at this one here is the body hoot nanny there she got her glands out playing her guitar and everything this one's four dollars this booth has some beautiful mid-century modern pieces in it. This Blanco and the Impoli, $75 for that green one right there. But look at this case here with this rose Blanco. Um, that one's $195. This big mammoth is $160, $125, $124. Oh, that's cool though, the cigar and the ashtray. I kind of like that. I've got, it says lift latch, wait, wait, lift latch, lift latch under, after, oh, it's locked, so I can't get into it anyway, but I also wanted to show this purple up here, this is a cool cabinet though too, because it's lighted at the top, so it really shows off this glass, this one is $40, beautiful pieces, oh my word, who else had a dressy Bessie? This is just iconic. She is $39, but oh my gosh. I, I love her. I kind of want to get her for me, but I'm not going to. 30% oh. off, maybe? Oh. Is it 411? Put her in the cart. Dressy Bessie, you're coming home. Maybe we can find some more things. Look how cute her little sign is, too. That's adorable. I'm for sale. Let's see. There's one of those bleach bottle Santas. I remember those. Oh, Canada. You guys are getting it twice in one video. Ooh, these are nice. These are the, um, the metal apple containers. You get two of them for $32. Mark, I don't, mm, I don't know if they're red. They had them in yellow and green, I think, as well. Yeah, I think that's still a pretty good price because they're still 30% off. But it's a little bit more wear than what I would like. Marco's looking at this. Oh, it looks familiar to me, this Fisher Price. I think we had this. Mm. I had this whole thing. Do you want to get it? No. It's not on sale, is it? Yeah. How much? On, oh my gosh, get it. You can put it with your cars. All you gotta do is do some Elmer glue to tack that graphic down. I think it's missing a door, isn't it? Yes. I'm not sure if the canoe goes with it. The canoe's not marked. 
Oh, it's cute. You should get it. Well, I don't like that. I don't even know why I stopped here, but I just want to show you. I've been looking for this book. This was my favorite book as a child. It is the vintage one. It's from the 80s or 70s, I think. It does have the barcode, but these I got. Um, I looked through. They're a dollar each, but I looked for the ones that did not have the barcode. So I'm going to get these, the Cookie Monster Circle Book, Count, the Elephant Book. There's a couple of these, my sports bag book, the bunny book. I remember the Christmas book, the clock book my toolbox book, my flight bag book, the Bambi book, the three bears and pets. So none of these, these are pre-1973. They don't have the barcode. This one does, but Grover is a character. I mean, he literally is a character, but he is, he's my kind of character. I also grabbed this. I didn't show it a few minutes ago, but it's inside Universal Studios. It's $12, but it's 30 or 25% off, but it's from 1968. But look at that, look at Frankenstein. Sorry, there's a light there. But it's from 1965, 68 inside Universal Studios. So that is a treat. That is a treat. So I'm gonna get this as well. I found a magical booth. It's a booth of magic. So you can see I've got a green Ellie Smith compote that was $8. These are McCoy Moon, I call them the Moon, Moon Man mugs, set of four for 12, so I'm getting those. And then this beautiful lithograph of the Indian Maiden for six. So, and then there's a peacock tray, I'm going to look at that, but we always talk about, oh, you can put peacock feathers in it. Well, they did, and it looks gorgeous. Look at this Empoli. This is Italian. I've seen the little ones, I've not seen the, the tall ones, they just have his head taped on there so he like is 74 this is 32 22 the little viking clear is 28 this is a little mini swung base for 14 so i am going to get that because i do like to find the minis this booth isn't on sale though is it Probably not. This is beautiful for 122. I think I have that exact same one. This is 38. That's gorgeous. Well, I'm gonna go empty. Yeah, he's going to go empty our cart because we're finding a lot of stuff. Um, we've got some Ellie Smith um, toothpicks for eight each. Uh, gosh, we've got two greens. Uh, oh, sorry, two greens and oh, actually three greens. A Amberina. So I'm thinking that I might get one of each color. Great for the fall season. I have the green one. I think they want 24 for that Viking. I, I have the green one. We got some more Viking down here. Some more pieces that I already have. This is beautiful. Floridora cream and sugar for 32. This is another, there's another. So this one is Ellie Smith. When Mark gets over here, I'm gonna have him help me so I can show you the difference. This one is Viking. And I wanna say too that this booth, they have these light bands. It's almost like a wand that they put behind the glassware just on these white shelves and it really makes it the the glassware stand out so maybe look into that if you have an antique booth but when mark gets over here we'll show you the difference between the ellie smith and the viking all right so this one is viking this one is ellie smith look at the top finials this one's more of like a flower petal that one's more of like a, a bullet and also they're all they're both the six petal look at the bases the the viking the are different too. they're a little bit different but still if you didn't have them side by side the the bottom of the viking has petals on the on the base the ellie smith doesn't it has like a flower shape on the bottom and it doesn't have when you turn the viking one over you can see the petals there on the bottom when you turn the ellie smith over You just, it's just the, the molded glass on the bottom, which I mean, they're both molded, but 
So that's the difference. There's a difference in the texture. It's more sharp corners. It's more sharp corners, but the Viking is like butter. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm a Viking girl, but I just prefer the Viking over the Ellie's Men. Test time for Mark. Can't remember. Who is this fella? Can't remember. It's the infant of Prague. Prague. I am going to get this. It's $10. Now there is. It's chalk. He's a chalkware body. He's got a little bit of damage here. He was made in Italy. He's dated on the back 1964. And I, I, the one, the one that I hold, that I sold, I sold for quite a bit of money. And um, I think that, yeah, I think that he's unusual. So I'm gonna take the ten dollar risk on him. I think he's. Oh, look at all the soldiers, and I guess they'd be and sailors. Okay, it says made in Italy. Yeah. On the tag. Yeah. This says Columbia Statuary Incorporated. I don't know. I'm still going to get it for $10. I think he's cool. Okay. Look at that little sassy puppy for $12. Um, no, you don't want him. Why? I don't think you want him. His hand is broke. Oh, I do oh. I think he's supposed to be going his little... Yeah, his little finger or, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, booper checker for the win. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so this is an epern. It's a cranberry epern. It is sixty dollars. It's a little one. There's some rookwood for ninety nine. Okay, I'm not gonna get the pearl. I'm gonna leave the perns for Michael. I mean, not unless I can find one for a really, good, really good price. But yeah. Oh, look at all these old candy boxes. Holloway's milk duds, five cents. Yeah, these are still pretty pricey. And say at one time, these were very, very expensive. Baby Ruth Milky Way, 38, Mounds, Almond Joy. Again, these vintage games stacked up look really, really cool. This booth, booth number 81's got a lot of fun things. I got a little pixie here. He's still in his package. He was originally 49 cents, but we're going to pay $8 for him today. And then I was, I'd seen... These are $5. I'm going to get those. Look at that fun Santa. It's two cute Santas. Mm, I don't like to ship Christmas bulbs. Oh, wait. Here's his buddy. We're going to get the guy in the green. In his green outfit, too. Oh, and some angels. Well, goodness gracious. Merry Christmas, Mark. Merry Christmas. Okay, so the Ross Bro that I got... Looks just like this one in this mall at the very beginning of the video. It was $24. These are $35. The witch is $30. I really like that witch. And then there's one, the witch and the black cat right there for $50. Oh my gosh, look at her. The blow mold witch on a stick. She's 80. She's 80. But wait, look at this Ross Burrow. Oh my gosh, it's the witch on the bike candy container. $400. That's amazing. The wind up wandering pixie. He's a hundred dollars. Yeah, there's some rare pieces. I love the Casper. He's 45. Great, great pieces in here. I have this. Oh look, yeah, here's the Casper. He he that's just him, but he comes in his box. Those Caspers up there are neat too. But yeah, some of these things that are from the 80s and 90s, these blow molds that, you know, like the candelabras, they they, they command a pretty big price. So if you see them out or if you have them, some of you may have them and not realize that they're, that they're pretty desirable, but they are. Oh, I have him. I'm not selling mine. He's $80. We turned the corner and we, Mark saw this booth and went, oh no. But look what he found. And it matches your, your twinsies, Mark. Now, this is a oh, little Miss Cutie Pie. It's just the, the creamer. There isn't the sugar she, bowl. She was down there at the very, very bottom. But she's got a little bit of a booper on here. She's $30, but she is 15% off. So I have never found one myself. So I'm going to get her. Oh, you're so good, fella. 
Oh, and also found, there's all kinds of stuff that we're going to be, this I do believe is Viking. It's $14, but it's 15% off. Um, these Lucite grapes, do you see the 52, 52. we're not going to do, but look at these guys. These are Italian. Um, very, very 1960s. He, they're, I think they're $18 each. He's $14 and he's $18, but they're 15. Oh, there's some more over there. So, yeah, I might be in this booth for a little bit because I, and then I'm going to get this crucifix. There's a couple over, this one I just like. It's $4. There's some more in here as well, but I'm just kind of, there's the Pope. See, that's cool too, right? It's from Rome. It's five. I just sold him. How much is he? 30. Um, here's a little witch. She's cute. She is four dollars, so that would be cute for this time of year. We'll we'll get her. There's a, she's fancy. And I liked her too, but I don't think I'm gonna get her. Let's just see what else. Oh my gosh, that's a whole bag full of babies. For three dollars. Well they're I gotta get those. I can put them in little jars. I could put those babies in a jar. What's going on here? my gosh caress i don't think they make caress anymore oh my gosh here's a whole thing of rattles i like rattles those are cute yeah i haven't even gotten to the salt and pepper shakers yet Cupies. okay so the salt and pepper shakers i haven't made it over. i'm getting ready to go over there to the cupies but these are cute the little owls with the jeweled eyes they're wooden and then look these are just different they're i think they're modern they've got a newer base but the elephants are cute they're fifteen dollars but there's they're they're broken their flowers are broken oh my gosh look at these look at those groovy guys i like those they're seven dollars lord we're gonna, need, we're gonna need a bigger basket i found this little glass parrot critter and I think it does glow, but it doesn't glow much. But does, it, it has a little, little bit. bit of magnes in him, but I've never seen him. He's cute, so we're gonna get we're gonna get this guy, and then I'm gonna get all of those gnomes. Oh my gosh, look at this flower frog deal with that amberina glass. Well, friends, Picker's Paradise was a Picker's Paradise. I'm telling you what, I we we got we got a lot of stuff, we got a lot of stuff today. But my goodness, it was great, great picking. So. Man, if you are ever in the Niles, Michigan area, come to Pickers Paradise. Do you hear me? Come to Pickers Paradise. It's lovely. There were a lot of sale booths that were having sales. Lots of fun, great things. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me. I hope that you had it. just as much fun as we did. Mark and I always have a good time when we're shopping together. We kind of had the discussion, too, that it seems like the things that we, you know, we're in our late 40s and we're thinking, my gosh, all the stuff that we enjoyed as a child is now in the antique mall. But that's the way that it works sometimes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for shopping with me. If you saw anything you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's available now or in an upcoming live sale. I have my live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock p.m. over on my second channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Live. It's the very first link down in the description of the video, so I hope you'll come over and join us for a live sale. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you for the next one. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Spain valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. I miss my guess the boys all follow me around I could make a music master, drop his fiddle Make a ball head, a man part his head